Hey everyone, it's Lenny here from Lenny'sNetMarket.com. Thanks so much for stopping by to check out this video. Today I'm going to be doing a review of a product called Mail It. If you're not familiar with it, no worries. Just give me a few minutes of your time. I'm going to explain exactly what it is, how it works, some pros, some cons, and from there hopefully it'll be enough information for you to be able to make an informed buyer decision. So, excuse me, without further ado, let's get right into the review. Mail It is an email management system, a list building tool, all rolled into a WordPress plugin. Now, if you currently have a list, you're probably using a third-party email provider like uh, GetResponse, uh, MailChimp, or Aweber. Um, I am currently an Aweber user. Uh, as you know, Aweber starts off with a $1 trial, and then it transitions to a $19 per month fee if you have anywhere from zero to 500 subscribers. Similarly, with GetResponse, you, as you can see in the chart indicated below, if you have anywhere from zero to a thousand subscribers, you're going to pay a slightly less fee of $15 per month. And then with both Aweber, uh, GetResponse, MailChimp, and most other third party um, email platform providers, the price continues to increase based on your number of subscribers. So as you cross into the next bracket, as you continue to build your list, the price of your subscription with your provider is going to continue to increase. With that being said, mail it is a one-time $37 fee. That means no monthly price, no monthly increases, no matter how many subscribers you have, no matter how many emails you send, that price will not change if you purchase within the first three days of the launch and Brent and Mike decide to keep it at that price. $37, that's it. So essentially, in a roughly two to two and a half months, the plugin pays for itself if you're currently using a third party email provider. So from a cost perspective, Mailit is a great alternative to Aweber. It's a great alternative to GetResponse. It's a great alternative to uh, MailChimp cost wise. So I'm gonna, and, let's, and let's continue to move through this. Great cost wise. Now, does it work? Brett. And Mike spent about six months developing this plugin. And as you can see from the examples that they have here on the sales page, and I think three different examples, they sent close to 10,000 emails. Uh, they got open rates of uh, over 20% and click through rates anywhere from 9 to 10%. Very good click through rates, open rates. In fact, these were a lot higher than what Mike, uh, what Brett was currently experiencing using Aweber. And since that time, he's transitioned his entire list to mail it. So not only is he practicing what he preaches, you know, he's, he's backing it up with his own money. He, he spent the money de developing a pro the product and now he's actually using it. Brett and Mike have put out uh, amazing products in the past and they always provide excellent support. So from a cost perspective and the fact that he's showing you proof that the plugin actually works, two for two in, in my opinion. So the setup of the plugin is just like any other uh, WordPress plugin. It's, it, you upload the zip file. This is the dashboard you see um, when you first upload the plugin. This dashboard here gives you a summary of your unique opens, clicks, unsubscribes, etc. Similar to a summary dashboard that you would have at, at Aweber or any other third party provider. As you can see, there's a simple menu across the top. And the first thing you wanna go, you're going to want to do is click the help button, the help tab. And you're going to see a few videos on how to get everything set up, how to get started very very simple for the most part once you just take your time go through the videos now those are all the pros great alternative especially if you're experiencing um, problems with the open rates uh, click-through rates and these are problems that are new in terms of you've been doing the same thing in terms of email your list is responsive and then all of a sudden you notice a drop issues that are not related to anything you're doing it's related to your email provider so if you're looking for something different, you're looking for something that's going to get you open rates, it's going to increase those open rates that you once had, something that initially attracted you to that provider, then I would say definitely jump on this. Definitely try it because it's already been proven. It's already been tested. The price is amazing. So what are some of the things I don't like about Mailit? Well, first of all, if you don't have a WordPress website, you can't use it because it's a WordPress plugin. Not everybody has a WordPress website. No big deal. WordPress is free uh, to upload to your domain. So you host it. No big deal if you don't have one. Easy to get started. If you never built a list before, you know, 
no excuse, no better time to start than now because the money is in the list. So, you know, get a WordPress site, get the plugin, and get going. But one of the cons is, in my opinion, is you have to have a WordPress site. Moving on. The, the emails are going to be sent from your IP address. So, Brett clearly lays out in the instructions how to safely and effectively use this plugin so you do not get your IP address banned. If you do it properly, as you can see, Brett sent almost 10,000 emails and had no issues consistently time in and time out. If you don't follow the instructions and you do this improperly, there is a chance your IP address could be banned. And you don't have that issue as much using uh, a third party email provider. Lastly, the only thing, the last thing that I didn't like so much was the fact that you cannot, you cannot pre-schedule your email. So for those of you that are currently using a system where you can go in and you can schedule out a broadcast and you can schedule out, you can schedule out emails for consistent periods of time, you cannot do that with this plugin. I don't know if that's going to be incorporated in the future, but I would envision as uh, as things develop, that may be something that gets included later on. For a price of $37, it may or may not. So just to recap, cost perspective, outstanding. Um, in terms of uh, the number of emails you can send, the number of subscri subscribers you can have, if you have an existing list, you can import that list into MailIt. If you don't have a list, no big deal. You can just get started with the plugin. You set up a WordPress website, install this, very simple to install follow the step-by-step -step directions and get going. Um, if you're transitioning from a third-party email provider, you may find it a bit of a challenge because you cannot schedule emails. Um, but that's not to say that you can't have great success with it because Brett proved that to you with the fact that he's sending almost emails to almost 10,000 subscribers. He's making over $800 per day, um, continuing his regular routine and he's getting higher, higher, op he's getting higher open rates and uh, higher click-through rates than he was getting with Aweber. So it just depends on where you are in your career and, and what your issue is. If, you, if you're experiencing issues with your provider, then I think this is a great alternative, something you should definitely jump on and, and, and take advantage of while the price is what it is. If you're not experiencing issues with your third-party provider and, um, and everything is fine, then maybe you should stay where you are. If you're brand new and you don't have the budget to afford uh, Aweber at $19 per month, or something higher, then again, this is a great alternative. It just depends on where you are. Either way, I hope this review video was helpful for you. And if you want to give it a try, uh, I'm going to put a link right here, however, in the video and right here in the description. Um, you purchasing through that link will give me a small commission. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but I would certainly appreciate it. Um, again, I hope this review of Mailit was helpful for you. Uh, have a great day and, uh, and go out and build your list. All right, take care.